Hi guys. Welcome to another video of Fun Zone. Hope you are all well. First thing first. If you are new to our channel, then you know what you have to do. Yes, subscribe to our channel Fun Zone and smash the like button. Also press the bell icon to get instant updates of new videos. Okay, so let's start today with how to get industrial smelter. The industrial smelter in Roblox Islands is an industrial heating device. Obtaining industrial smelter by crafting. To craft industrial smelter in workbench tier 3 or workbench tier 4 you need 8 steel rod and 3 pink sticky gear and level 8 forging skill. Steel Rod The steel rod is an item used for crafting various tools and industrial machines. You can craft steel rod in anvil with 25 steel ingot. The anvil is a crafting station used to craft weapons and other metallic-like items. You can get anvil by crafting in workbench tier 2, workbench tier 3 or workbench tier 4 with 50 iron. Iron can be turned into a steel ingot in a steel mill. The steel mill requires coal or petrified petroleum as a fuel source to start processing. Steel mill can be crafted from 100 iron and 50 gold in workbench tier 3 or workbench tier 4. Okay now pink sticky gear. A pink sticky gear is a crafting ingredient uncommonly dropped by pink slimes and the slime king. Obtaining pink sticky gear by mob drop. Pink Slimes and the Slime King have a 10% chance of dropping a pink sticky gear.
Usage of industrial smelter. The industrial smelter can be used to automatically smelt items. It has six slots able to hold one item each in its user interface, three for the raw material and three for fuel, both of which can be inputted manually or through the conveyor opening at the front. When powered with coal or petrified petroleum, the industrial smelter will activate for approximately 30 seconds. During this time, it will begin smelting any item inside, taking 10 seconds per item, and will output the smelted item through the conveyor output at the other side. The industrial smelter rewards for forging XP, 18 with the 4x daily bonus, for each item smelted. It'll covert items as follow. 1 iron or to 1 iron. 1 gold or 1 gold. 1 copper or to 1 copper ingot. 1 clay to 1 brick. History of industrial smelter updates. May 2, 2020, added industrial smelters. May 17, 2020, industrial smelters can now smelt gold ore. September 18, 2020, industrial smelters can now smelt copper or dot and also changed the industrial smelter's appearance. After this, animated the industrial smelter dot and in another update, changed the particles emitted from the industrial smelter. Trivia. This is the only heating device capable of smelting copper ore. It is also the only heating device that cannot cook food items. We will be sharing more video on Roblox Islands and many other games. Also share this video with your friends. Subscribe to channel and like the video. Till next time, stay safe and follow us for more upcoming gaming coverage.